Hi everyone. Today's video is about how I exercise and something that has kept me pretty much sane throughout this whole experience. So a little background information. I've been a gym rat since I've been around 15 years old. I love working out. It's one of the things that uh, no matter what's going on in my life, I can kind of put everything out of my head and really just, you know, go lift weights and get completely absorbed in the moment. I've enjoyed it for many, many years. It's not something, uh, you know, that is an arduous uh, task for me. People always ask, well, wow, Danny, you, you work out a lot. And I would always say, well, it's, yeah, I work out a lot, but it's not me uh, being someone who is, uh, you know, forcing myself to go. It's what I actually enjoy to do. So as soon as I was able to uh, get the clearance that I was able to work out again, I jumped into that. And, but of course I was a personal trainer in the past. Uh, I have certifications in, you know, corrective exercise and personal training. Um, I was, I have the certifications from Lifetime Fitness, their academy, as well as I was a personal trainer there for some years. And I really just, you know, enjoy the fitness journey. Fitness is something that has uh, really um, identified my life and uh, who I am. So during this time, one of the hardest things for me was just to feel normal. You know, when I was going through the stroke and I lost my vision and I was walking around with that walking stick, I felt everyone was just staring at me. I was, you know, I was having a really tough time of feeling like Danny. And then when I finally was able to get the clearance to go back to the gym, it was the thing that kind of gave me hope again. It was somewhere I could go where no one knew I was sick. No one knew I was going through brain cancer. No one knew I just had a stroke. No one knew I was on uh, chemotherapy and immunotherapy. It was just me working out and looking like myself and everyone, you know, just going about their daily routines and not thinking anything of the guy next to them, which was me. Now, I I love this. This was something that was really big for me, and it, it made me happy. It was one of the things that throughout my day that was a, a big plus. Now, at the gym, the great thing about that is I've been working out for so long and for so many years, I could kind of just set myself on autopilot. I know all my exercises. I know the routines. I've been doing it for so long. It's just I go in there and there's not much thinking involved. So that was something that was great. So as soon as I was able to get the clearance to go back to the gym, I did. Now, I wanna discuss the program that I use when I started working out again, because after having major brain surgery and uh, you know going through a stroke or any kind of surgery that someone has, when you get back to doing physical activity, you have to take it slow. You have to know what you're doing. You don't want to cause injury. You don't want to have a relapse of any symptoms. And one thing I know from being a personal trainer is that I have trained people in many different situations. People who've come back from injury, people who you know are trying to lose weight, people who um, you know need some corrective exercises done, but or people who are working out the first time. So for me, I was treating this as I didn't work out for two months, that I was going back and essentially like kind of working out for the first time again. Even though I wasn't, I created my exercise like that. And uh, I will share screenshots of my, uh, of my program that I put together, my foundational workout program, and I will describe it here as well. Now, keep in mind, this may seem excessive uh, for someone who's just starting out, but I wasn't just starting out. I've been doing you know, exercising, you know, for the better part of my life, you know, four to five days a week. I've been religious with it always. Again, I just enjoy it. So when I went back into working out, I developed uh, myself a foundational program that was suited to me. Now, a foundational program usually is something that you is a program you do to get started. You're gonna usually work out 
you know, three times a week in on each day, you're going to kind of hit every muscle group um, at least once just to get your whole body activated. Now, for me, since I've, you know, been working out, my body has muscle memory. Uh, I, even though, you know, I was able to work out for a couple of months, my, I didn't really lose my shape. Uh, you know, I, I ate well, of course, I made sure my protein intake was high, so I didn't have my much muscle waste. But of course, I was still going back into this from being sedentary for a good two months, you know. So I program a foundational workout for myself, which was three times a week. Uh, actually, so it was for four weeks, three times a week. So I planned this foundation for a month to get back into my normal routine. And in other videos, I can talk about my normal routine. But this one, I just developed for a month to get my body back into active shape and to get my muscles ready for, you know, moving forward in uh, with my fitness goals. So what I did was I had, um, I basically, I put together a workout that hit on every body, my, every body or muscle grouping that, um, you know, that people focus on or that you should focus on. So, and for this foundation workouts, I made sure to prioritize all machines. I didn't do any free weights. I wanted to stay in a controlled uh, motion. So I avoided any risk, uh, injury risk. And whenever I would train people, you know, who are first working out, I'd always recommend this because to start off on a machine is great because your body's controlled, you're getting proper resistance, you can easily adjust the weight. Uh, there's no, you know, transporting free weights or plates back and forth. So what I did was I did all machines and I, my workout started, I had a, a chest incline machine and I would do two sets of 20 reps. And then I moved to uh, a chest, a flat bench uh, machine. So chest inclines for your upper pectoral muscles. And I would do a flat chest machine, which is for, you know, your center and I would do two sets of 20 reps on each of those. And then I moved to chest flies. Chest flies is where you grab, you know, a machine and you pull your hands together like this, like you're kind of hugging a tree, I was always described. So you're really opening the muscle and, uh, you know, and then you're contracting it and you're really stretching it and then contracting it. So I would do that for two sets of 20 again. And then I moved from my chest to my back. For my back, I started off with the lat uh, pull down machine. Uh, it's an overhead. Most people, you know, see it. You have the the bar. You just pull it down to your chest. I did that again for uh, two sets of fifteen to twenty reps. I did it with manageable weight, of course. I made sure not to go heavy, not to go too light. I just did what was comfortable for me. And that's a big thing with these foundation workouts. You want to do what's comfortable for you. You don't want to exhaust yourself or exert yourself. You're just activating your muscles here. Next exercise I did was still on my back. I did uh, a lat pull down with something called a supinated grip. So my first one, lat pull down was a pronated grip. It means like your hands are like this. So I pulled down. The second one I did, my second exercise was a supinated grip. So it's like a pull up. So I would grab the bar and I'd pull it down. And again, I would do 15 to 20 reps for two sets again. After that, I would do a row. So uh, I would sit on a machine and I would row. I have the weights pull to really pinch my shoulder blades together and activate my back. So with these three exercises, I was getting my full back, just like with my uh, chest exercise, my three of those, I was getting my full chest. Then I had my back done. I moved to my shoulders. And again, like uh, the chest and the back, I want to target all parts of my shoulders. So the front, the middle, and the back. So for the shoulders, I start off with the machine, uh, which is a front press. So I sat down on a machine, I just pressed up, and I did two sets of 15 to 20 reps on that, you know, at a manageable weight. And then what I did was I did a press on a rear. So I actually would turn around and put my chest on the pad of the machine and then go behind me uh, to hit the back of the shoulders. And I would do those for 15 to 20 uh, reps as well. Now, rear shoulders is very important. Um, it's something whenever I train people, you know, with any kind of uh, 
especially if you're trying to, you know, build a nice physique. You definitely want to build up those real shoulders. It's going to help with your posture as well. It'll help kind of pull you back. So real sho rear shoulders is definitely something I preach. Um, and that's something I focus on. Next thing I did was I did lateral raises for the middle. So I would grab, uh, I actually, so this one was different. This one, I would actually use a dumbbell, but I sat down because I wanted to make sure I was stable. So I would sit, sit down. I had two dumbbells and I would go lateral raises like this, targeting the middle of my shoulder. And I would do that for two sets of 15 to 20. And then I would do shrugs again, part of the shoulder as well. And part of your neck muscle. Uh, I grabbed lightweight, of course, and I just had two dumbbells and I just shrugged up. I always say, you know, when I used to train people, act like you're saying, I don't know. I don't know. So that was uh, my completed uh, shoulder workout. And then after that, I moved on to my arms. Arms, similar thing. Uh, for this first one, I did a bicep creature curl. That's where you sit down on a bench and you, you curl up. You can Google it or I could put a, post a picture of it. I did 15 to 20 uh, reps of that for two sets. Then I did a seated curl. I just grabbed two dumbbells. I sat down, I curled up. I started my hand in a neutral grip like this and I curled up like that into a, a pronated grip. So I did 15 to 20 reps of that alternating. And then I did, um, I would do tricep and then I moved to tricep. And for tricep, I start off with tricep extension in a machine. I would sit down the machines that go like this. And I did the same thing. I would extend my tricep, push down like that. We had a manageable weight for two sets of 15 to 20 reps. And then I did uh, a, another tricep machine. And I would do again, two to two sets of 15, to 20 reps. And for this second tricep machine, I really didn't want to mess around with standing up or, uh, you know, really hurting myself in any way. So I did a the seated dip machine for tricep. That's where you sit down and you have the two bars and you just push push down. And uh, I'm sure most of you have seen that, but I can, um, I, I will try to put some pictures up as well um, so you can see that. But of course you're, you can always Google it, the seated dip machine. And then I was finished with upper body. So I had my upper body worked out. I had my chest, my back, my shoulders, my arms, and then I moved to legs. Now legs, again, it's a very important, it's a big part of your body. It's your biggest muscle. So legs, I sat down on a machine. I did a leg press. I did that two sets, 15, 20 reps. Uh, then I did a leg curl for your quad, your quadriceps. I sat down on a machine and I you know, lifted my legs like this, again, 15 to 20 reps for two sets. And I did a leg curl. Uh, so no, I'm sorry, uh, I may have confused. So leg extensions where you sit down and you go like this, that's leg extension for your quads. A leg curls for your hamstrings, where, you know, you see those seats where you lay down and you curl your, your legs up like this. And it's kind of like you're doing a, a bicep curl, but with your leg. So I did, again, two sets of that, 15 to 20 reps. And then um, I did calves, of course. Uh, you know, your calves are always help you use them when you're walking, use them when you're jumping. And I did uh, just a, a calf machine. They always have one at the gym where you just put your feet on and you just push, you know, push your toes down. I did two sets of that from 15 to 20 reps. And I did inner and outer thigh, which uh, is another machine. You sit down. You do the outer thigh where you, you know, you, you open your legs like this and then you do the inner thigh where you pull your legs in like that. I did two sets of 50 to 20 reps of those. Uh, and I always finish with abs because I didn't, since I didn't want to get down on the floor, I didn't want any unnecessary pressure on my head. I just did an ab machine and uh, they usually have those at, at most gyms as well. So this was my foundational workout. Now I know it sounds like a lot. For me, it wasn't, it was me just getting back into a routine, but this was me getting my body ready for my more intensive workouts that I would follow that with. And uh, again, this uh, helped me. I will post a picture of my workout, the, the two uh, little notes that I created, the, the papers I created with my notes on it, just showing this foundational workout. Uh, I believe this is a great foundational workout for anyone, as long as you just do light weights, you can know, you can lower it down to doing one set uh, of each if this is too time consuming. 
but this is just something just to get your muscles activated. But for me, this was a lifesaver because it was I was able to get out of my world of sickness and return to something I love. All right, everyone, uh, please subscribe, follow, and uh, like and share this video. And if you would like to uh, support my fight, uh, there is a link in the description uh, to a PayPal address to help me in my ongoing battle. Uh, but I really appreciate you all uh, tuning in for this. I hope this is an informative video. I will be talking about fitness quite a great deal throughout this whole journey because fitness is something that has really, uh, uh, you know, defined my life. And uh, if you'd like to see my little son right here, he's right behind me. Here, Eddie, come and say hi real quick. There, there's my little guy. All right, yeah, he's he's, he's learning how to work out as well. So, all right, thank you, everyone. Keep up the fight. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.